was thank you very much for having me uh, and, and for your time uh, especially. Um, actually, I have been the executive partner of a small but very successful hotel business for 10 years uh, now. Uh, furthermore, I am representative European relations of the West Prince Russia Forum in London. I'm also a member of the German Russian Forum Imagine. Berlin and the Business Club Germany Russia Berlin, to name just a few. Uh, for a long time, I have been dedicating much of my activities to further ties uh, between Russia and Europe because I am convinced that this is key to long term global peace uh, and stability. Now, with the Corona crisis in mind, I'm starting my speech uh, with a very simple and pragmatic question, as uh, um, Julia just mentioned, uh, where has all my tax money gone? Where does it go? Uh, where will it go? Uh, I am going to speak from the viewpoint of an owner of a small enterprise in the hotel business. Also, I'm going to speak from the viewpoint of a scientific critic of our political and economic system in Germany and uh, obviously not only in Germany. Uh, this way I'm combining the ma micro perspective with the macro perspective. Um, due to the Corona crisis, our hotel business is facing insolvency. Our industry is amongst those hardest hit by Corona. Um, so far we have received basically no government health or rescue funds. Um, at least uh, nothing which would really prevent us from, from going insolvent. This applies to businesses in the whole region where we are situated since we are the biggest healing thermal region in Europe. We are the destination for guests um, who need healing and take preventive measures for their health. It is key to know that in Germany, small and medium-sized enterprises pay 19% of tax money as, um, as well as providing most jobs. Uh, we are the backbone of the German economy. Um, while German SMEs are struggling to survive, the German Defense Ministry announced their plans, plans uh, for the coming years to spend my all our tax money on fighter jets capable of nuclear weapons, combat drones, and so forth, uh, worth uh, around 130 billion euros or so. Uh, what amazes me is that there is no serious public outcry, no real sign of uh, protests going on against this in Germany. Neither do German quality media focus on this topic on their front pages. Only smaller alternative media keep publishing critical comments, but all in all we see silent acceptance and the sentiment that these immense defense spendings might be somehow justified. Why is that? The perception that Russia, Russia has been Europe's big enemy has been in people's minds for a long, long time. Um, mainly uh, caused by media coverage. Anti-communism has helped further this perception. But uh, stigmatizing Russia as the realm of evil or the evil empire does not go back to Ronald Reagan um, referring, for example, to the Soviet Union. It actually has its root in Poland in the 16th century when Catholic theologians and scholars uh, spread their views all over Europe. Uh, this is only the only plausible explanation for people silently accepting these immense arms expenditures in the face of being threatened themselves uh, threatened by insolvency due to Corona. Also, um, from a macro perspective, we see that uh, we see the example of big players such as the German airline Lufthansa receive billions of euros of rescue funds. 
um, at the same time, they are paying out dividends to a large part to their owners and the board, etc., and not to the small common shareholder. Plus, they still are allowed to cut jobs. And last but not least, they hardly pay any taxes because of their clever tax haven system. This applies to big uh, players all over the world, uh, such as Amazon and others, you name it. Uh, coming back to my situation, of course, uh, there is not enough of my tax money left to spend on saving my business. Hence, it becomes blatantly obvious how big interests across the world and across all areas, from finance, politics, economy and military, together with the media, affect all of us personally. I would like to close my remarks by pointing out possible avenues and by emphasizing some analyses uh, about the situation. Um, as a scientist, uh, I am in social sciences, more exactly in communication science and media research. I am working on my doctoral thesis to show in which way German quality media has been covering Russia over the last several years. Um, I am exploring how media coverage may be related to big uh, political, financial, economical and military interests. Uh, my previous studies show that coverage of President Putin was negatively biased compared uh, to coverage of President Obama, which was uh, usually or over overwhelmingly neutral or positively biased. I think it is important that uh, the science community concerns, it, concerns itself with uh, analyzing if modern forms of media propaganda and liberal democracies exist and how uh, the implications um, to our global community look like. Also, I have been in international network marketing for one and a half years now. I am convinced that independent, um, responsible partners are the future in the new economy. New economy means for me being paid for performance rather than working hours. Uh, moreover, independent network marketing partners get their fair share of commission from the turnover um, or profit uh, they generate for uh, their company. In traditional big companies, the profits go up to the board and owners. Independent partners, however, responsible for marketing and distribution cannot be laid off. And their network represents a strong and stable entity of the company they work together with. Uh, only around two years ago now, a new international a digital project was launched and now provides outstanding opportunities of creating income for, for people uh, from Africa to Canada, from Asia to South America. Network marketing is one good avenue, in my opinion, uh, to create and secure income for each and every one of us. Um, for those uh, of you who wish uh, to know more, please feel free to contact me after the conference. Um, well, with this in mind, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for your time, distinguished colleagues. Thank you.